Hi, this is Rupa Ramani and you're watching The Cup of Dreams. We're previewing England versus Afghanistan that's taking place in Delhi today. Let's look at how both these sides are heading into this particular matchup. Afghanistan is coming in on the back of two losses, one to Bangladesh and the next one recently to India at the very same venue. Though their batting sort of took some shape in the last match with the captain Hashmatullah leading from the front, there does seem to be a lot left to be desired and a lot more needs to come from the willows of the rest if they need to take the fight to a team like England. There's a similar story in the bowling department as well with a lot of reliance and over-reliance on a senior spinner like Rashid Khan to always deliver. Let's look at England now. England started the campaign rather slowly, stumbling against New Zealand in the tournament opener, but they've sort of turned things around in that match against Bangladesh with their batting really coming good. A lot of the top order contributing and they'll want to keep that momentum going. A lot of the lower order, the lower middle order who haven't really come into their own will look to see this as another opportunity to get some runs under their belt. Going by the fact that the match is happening in Delhi, there will be that added temptation to uh, put in that extra pacer, but we'll see how that pans out. Let's look at the head-to-head -head that these two teams have in ODI World Cups alone. They have faced each other two times and England has got the better of Afghanistan on both the occasions. It's the dream of every cricketer. The ultimate glory. Few manage to keep their date with destiny. But for many, it's been heartbreaks and a cross to bear. The Holy Grail is here in India. I'm Rupa Ramani and First Post brings you the ringside view. We bring you the Cup of Dreams. Cricket World Cup coverage like never before. across 2 million subscribers on YouTube. This is arguably the fastest growing news platform and we can't thank you enough for fueling this growth. All those of you who join us every day to watch this show and more, thank you. We launched Vantage seven months ago and these have been some very rewarding seven months for us. So from the entire team here, heartfelt gratitude.